I am ready to rage. I'm ready to rage. Um, but first, something has to happen. It's important that I eat something substantial before going to 7-Eleven because the last time I made one of these videos, I got real sick. I got, I got a little tummy ache. Aww. I was like, I need to save room for all these snacks I'm about to eat. But then I only had sugar and I was really sick the rest of the day. So eating spinach before I just take one for the team. My husband gets really annoyed when I stand and eat because he said it makes him uncomfortable and it looks like I'm in a rush. And then I remind him that I was a waitress and cocktail waitress for years. So we always stood and ate and this is what's comfortable to me now. Just shoving food in my mouth, which actually brings me to leave that maybe that's why I like food so much because for so many years I was so rushed to eat my food that um, now I can actually enjoy it. Bye guys. <laughs> Bye. Are you coming? We're just not gonna love it. Let's go. We're just gonna have to pick you up and carry you. Come on. This is an important mission that we're going on. In all seriousness, my husband and I actually sold one of our cars recently. I don't know, the past like two months or something. So we're down to one vehicle. It's our attempt to make better decisions. So we're walking. Today is October 2nd, which makes me super excited for fall. You are new here. Um, welcome to Japan YouTube. I am a sucker for snacks and food. It's also quite warm outside, but I'm dressed for fall for the occasion. I also have this giant bag with me with nothing in it but my wallet because I and prepared to purchase. So thanks for watching the ads on this video. Let's go. I'm getting to the main road and about to enter the 7-Eleven, so I put my mask on and I'll see you guys inside. are ready to eat because I am. Get my cup of water ready because I'm about to be on a sugar high. Before getting into the snack portion of the video where I try everything and basically make myself nauseous because of all the snacks I'm about to consume in a short period of time, please make sure you like this video. It helps my channel out more than I could express. And subscribe, Please, I live in Japan and just share about my life here and different experiences, but I especially love snacks and traveling. So if that's kind of up your alley, I hope you follow along. Let's go ahead and um, get really nauseous. I'm going to go ahead and unbutton one of the buttons in my pants. In Japan, their advertising is really um, specific. They can't do any false advertising, so the pictures that you see on the bag is going to be exactly what you're going to get. They're always the same size as the image on the bag. These remind me of those cone-shaped like chips you would put on your fingers and make them pointy. I can't think of the name right now. Uh, yeah, they smell like stale. They smell like stale cheese, but we're gonna try it anyway. They taste exactly like, um, oh my gosh, what are they called? I'm literally Googling crunchy crisp for, for fingers shaped like cones. Bugles. I'm such an idiot. These taste like cheesy bugles. These are really, really great. I would not have picked these up on my own and I highly recommend. I don't know what makes them spooky, but I'm not mad about it. Sweet potato paste in pancakes. They're like little sandwiches. One of the common themes you're going to see in the snacks is that it's either like a squash, 
pumpkin for sweet potato. So I'm from the United States where pumpkin spice is really, really popular. Like that is like Christian Girl Autumn, which I live for. I think that's amazing. But here in Japan, they don't really use cinnamon or nutmegs in their fall flavored things. So I kind of miss that sometimes. Hmm, I'm gonna heat it up. Yeah, that's my bad for putting it in there, um, you know, with nothing on it. It looks just like a little sandwich. Hmm. One thing that I do love about Japan is they don't overly sweeten a lot of their desserts. I don't want to say all of them, but a lot of their desserts. So it really just tastes like if you were to take sweet potato and mush it and put it with like a little bit of honey or sweetener and then put it in between the pancakes. That's what it's like. So it's not really a pudding, it's more like actual sweet potato and it's really good. Sweet potato donut. Oh my gosh. It just smells like purple yam. And if you know what the smell of purple yam is, then you just, you know, you know. It just smells like purple yam. Mm. Look at the color. That's so pretty. It does have that like, you know when you eat pre-made donuts they almost leave like an oily film in your mouth it does do that but it's really good and the sweet potato flavor is prominent i really like it mm. i've made my mistakes before trying drinks like this in a bottle when you can't see it so i came prepared I got a glass so we can figure out what the color of it will be. People always get upset when I don't show them the color and then I'm like, why don't I ever think of that? Because they ask every time and I never show it. Starbucks always has seasonal drinks, sweet potato latte, and I think the packaging is so pretty and so colorful. Open it like boba, so for any of my boba fans. Oh, there we go. It's very creamy, like there's half and half in it for sure. And the sweet potato part is very subtle, but this is amazing. But of course, like I have to show you. Oh, I already it spilled, so I know the color, but we'll act like it's a surprise together. Okay. <laughs> if you could see, if you could see the mess that I'm creating right now, yeah, that's the situation. Like I said, it's a latte. I was hoping it'd be like a spooky purple or something and it's not, so sorry. The sweet potato is very subtle. Oh my gosh, wait, the donut. It's a sweet potato latte and a sweet potato donut. Oh, I'm so smart. I'm so smart. I'm really onto something here. Let's move on. We're now moving into more pastries and puddings. I just did sweet potato. Let's do pumpkin. Cream puff with pumpkin cream, as Emma Chamberlain does. Thumbnail. Oh, okay. Ooh, the color. This is neon orange. I'm sure this is really healthy for me to eat. Anything neon orange just looks natural, you know? This is going to be breading with like whipped cream inside. They make these every season. So during strawberry season, they did them with strawberries inside and cream. So I already know what it's going to be like. They remind me of eclairs. I'm about to make a mess. But anyway, I just have to show you. Ooh. Look at how pretty this is. This is a pretty dessert. Doesn't... Wow, this is so good. The bread is really soft and really moist, like a very soft bread. The inside, it's like pumpkin puree pudding mixed with whipped cream. You can see the texture of it, so lovely. Like, I don't have another word to use. It's like a lovely flavor of pumpkin. This is pumpkin, right? Yeah, pumpkin cream. It tastes like pumpkin cream and bread. Wait a second, pumpkin cream and then the latte. Oh! 
listen i'm already wearing a brown shirt i'm partially becoming a pumpkin by the end of this i'm gonna be pumpkin or squash or something it'll be great this is going to sound strange but this is my favorite dessert during the fall season at 7-eleven it's like the perfect little size this is pumpkin pudding the sauce at the bottom is bitter so it's kind of like flan it's like pumpkin flavored flan and it's divine the technique is to get your spoon down oh down to the bottom oh did you see that that was the money shot oh it's so good creamy and sweet and also kind of bittery it's so freaking good and you can see the texture of it it's just the best mm. anytime you go to 7-eleven like i'll show you like i'll insert a clip they're always sold out so i actually got the last one so if you see them you should probably buy multiple of them so yeah pumpkin pudding number one squash pudding it's an acorn squash another fun fact in japan they call everything pumpkin so all the squash are pumpkins. Another thing in Japan, we don't have pumpkin patches. My first fall here, last fall, I was Googling pumpkin patches because I was like, I want to go to a pumpkin patch. They don't, they don't do that here. So if anybody were to open a pumpkin patch in Japan or know of one, because there aren't any in my area, please let me know. This one also looks like flan. You can see the texture. Texture's a little bothersome. Um, it almost tastes like it has a hint of coffee, but surely it doesn't. And that's just leftover coffee from the latte. This is really good. I, again, I thought that the squash flavor would be a lot more prominent, and it's not. Comparing these two puddings, this one is definitely going to be like a very strong flavor. And this one's a lot more mild, so if you aren't sure what to try and you want something nice and light, I would definitely try the acorn one. It's really good. Pancake, pumpkin, and whipped cream. So I feel like this is like a mixture of a few things we've already tried. 7-Eleven Japan has been trying to be a little more proactive and using less plastic. So you'll see a lot more packaging like this made with botanical film and botanical ink. It makes me really proud to see 7-Eleven Japan taking steps forward, trying to make changes in their products. Um, so this is like a combustible burnable paper item, which is really, really great. So I do applaud 7-Eleven for doing that. Oh my God, it's huge. Why didn't I, why did I think it would be smaller? <gasps> it looks like a little bird. I need to put this on like TikTok or something. <laughs> the pancakes are so soft. Like I don't, even, it's like touching a cloud. I don't even want to eat it because it's so pretty. Surely you can see how soft that is. Delicate. It's not as chocolatey. Yeah, it hardly even tastes like chocolate. I'm going to be honest. I wish it tasted more like chocolate because that would be bad in a good way let's just squish it because i feel like i have to Ooh. i didn't like that stop playing with your food you do this every episode oh, I, that. Hmm. I don't know if this is gonna make sense this is the most pumpkin flavored pumpkin snack i tried does that even make sense? Like this actually tastes like I'm eating pumpkin, like a pumpkin or squash soup. It's not a bad thing. This is very delicious. It tastes made like it was today or something. My favorite is still going to be the cream puff that I destroyed and um, this of course, but I do have one more thing to try. Okay, that was kind of stupid. It's basically a binky that I bought because I thought it would be funny. It's a great flavored candy and it's really cute and fun for Halloween. So, um, I'm gonna go lay horizontal now um, and drink some water because that was like a lot of sugar. I hope that you enjoyed this video. Uh, my pants are unbuttoned. I got a little food baby. I feel sick as I knew that I would. So if you enjoyed this video, please give it a like and 
subscribe to my channel. I'm a lot of fun. I like snacks. But if you think I'm annoying, I also understand that perspective as well to each their own. Feel free to roast me and how I eat in the comments. But with that being said, I'll see you guys on Instagram and TikTok. And I'll see you next Sunday in my weekly vlog. Bye, guys. It was worth it.